Hey guys, so we have a teaser released by the Dragon Ball Legends Twitter account. We kind of knew this was coming, right? I mean, even way back at the beginning of the release of the Frieza Saga campaign, I said, you know, they always release banners on two time, well, in two time frames of each month. It's in the middle of the month and it's at the end of the month. That's usually when we have these big banner releases. Now they decided to do the Ginyu Force banner in the middle of the month. So I believe Ginyu came out on like the 16th. It was the 15th or the 16th. I think it was one day earlier, so it was the 15th. Um, and so now we're getting what looks to be the LF character release this coming week, which is the end of the month. So it should be on the 30th is when we should be getting this. So we have our teaser here. I imagine tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, we will be getting our uh, Legends reveals and stuff announcement. I guess it's possible they don't do a reveal and stuff for this because they did one for the Ginyu Force, but it'll be kind of weird if they did a reveal for the Ginyu Force and didn't do one for whatever this is going to be. So, um, as you guys know, a lot of the time, uh, these teasers are not for the main character. Uh, a lot of times, like, not a lot of times, but there are a few exceptions, right? We have had some teasers that were for the actual, uh, you know, main headlining character. Like, one that comes to mind is, like, Kid Buu. Ultra Kid Buu had a teaser. So I guess it is possible that this could be for the uh, LF character, but more often than not, these teasers are for either just an EX character or they're for a 1% sparking character. So... Uh, that's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to assume that this is for a 1% sparking, but we don't know for sure. So this is a bit of an interesting image here. I mean, this literally came out two minutes ago. I haven't even looked at this. I, I literally started recording and this is basically the first time I'm seeing this. So it looks like this is, uh, the sun and then it goes to the moon and then it goes and cycles back and forth, huh? Um, okay. <clears throat> How do we want to interpret this? So the first thing that came to mind is I instantly thought of this. Uh, if you guys remember back to when uh, Goku was fighting Frieza, and of course we know this is part of the Frieza Saga campaign still. Um, if we remember back to when Goku was fighting Frieza on Namek, of course there's one character, well not one character, but one of the one of the more talked about and desired characters that people want to see as part of this release. Uh, at least that I've seen from people mentioning on social media so far has been some kind of Spirit Bomb Goku character. And there is one scene in particular from Goku's fight against Frieza that really reminded me of this teaser. And it's when Frieza is just completely beating Goku down. And he no he first notices the Spirit Bomb because of the reflection in the water. So I hopefully I don't get copyrighted here. I'm just going to quickly play like a few seconds. So Frieza looks up. He sees the Spirit Bomb here. It, uh, the reflection of the spirit bomb in the water, which could potentially be referencing the moon, I guess. Like this kind of doesn't look like like the sun, right? It, it kind of looks like the, the a little bit kind of like the moon in the water here. And then when he looks up, it obviously he looks up, and then obviously he sees the spirit bomb. So this is m much more reminiscent of of the sun, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'd, that could be what this is referencing. So. Uh, I think the chances are pretty high that this is going to end up being some sort of Spirit Bomb Goku related character. Uh, now, again, typically these are for the 1% sparking characters or EXs. I really don't see this being for an EX. Um, a, a teaser for a 1% or uh, sorry, a teaser for an EX Spirit Bomb Goku would be pretty bad. I don't think many people would be very uh, excited about that. So I, I'm hoping that this is either for the LF character himself or for the 1% sparking character. If it is for the 1% sparking on the banner, then uh, I think the chances are very, very high that we get some kind of LF Frieza here, which <clears throat> I guess would make sense because we got the, the LF Zenkai for full power Frieza. I think a lot of people would agree with me that they definitely didn't make this guy as good as he should have been. And it's not like they were a little bit off. They were fair a fair bit of, a, of the ways off from where he needed to be which could be indicative that we are getting another frieza as part of the celebration so yeah i mean to me this kind of looks like it would be a spirit bomb i mean we could take a look at the the frieza saga here and see if we can decipher what else it could be where is this scroll down here to the frieza saga um i mean other than like goku and frieza is there anything this could be referencing 
I guess this could be, you know what this could be referencing, I guess technically, is when Frieza says five minutes and it seems like it just goes on forever and ever and ever. Like this just cycling back and forth between every day passing and then the, the fight just continuing to go on. That, that would be kind of funny if that was what this means, but probably not. Um, but I, I don't see any other possibility for this teaser specifically um, than it being the spirit bomb. Because like, what else could this represent? I don't... I guess, I mean, if we want to be like abstract about this, we could talk about the fact that maybe this is referencing Vegeta and Goku. Um, so like potentially getting a revival Vegeta into Goku. So when Vegeta dies against uh, Final Form Frieza and then Goku could take over and like the, imagine how sick that would be. It, it would be kind of long, I think the animation, cause like Vegeta would die. And then I guess the animation would be like Goku, like burying him or something. Like, I don't know how they would do I don't know how they would turn that into a revival animation, but that could be cool, I guess, if they wanted to do it like that. A lot of times, uh, you can sort of compare the character of Goku and Vegeta as sort of being opposites. And so, you know, them having sort of like the sun and the moon being opposites and it's switching back and forth between them. Because this, this is very reminiscent of like a tag icon, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> what if it's a, what if it's a Goku and Piccolo tag character that yeah hold on what let me just see something is yeah so here's the tag switch icon it's purple they made this purple for a reason there's an arrow that goes this way and an arrow that goes that way this looks like it's going to be a tag i mean there's a again i always mention this whenever we see these teasers they always do something for a reason and the the, the 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 fact that they made these arrows purple to perfectly correspond with the tag switch icon that we have in the game that probably does mean something so i could definitely see this being potentially a tag goku and piccolo because remember if you guys remember back to the fight against freeze let me see if i can just scan through this so yeah like they're noticing that free okay like they know freeze and notice the spirit bomb so now piccolo has to jump in and sort of defend goku while he's charging the spirit bomb here so I could definitely see this end up maybe potentially being a Goku and Piccolo tag character that has a preparation mode for Goku to prepare the spirit bomb and then like Piccolo has to sort of defend him. It sounds very similar to the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and um, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta from the Buu Saga, right? Where Vegeta has to sort of step in and um, defend Goku when he's charging up the uh, Super Saiyan, uh, well, he's, when he's charging up the Kamehameha, right? Uh, but obviously this is an actual like moment that happened whereas that Buu Saga character is like a what if thing um kind of a what if thing i guess but uh yeah i mean that to me I, I think i would settle on that in terms of my final prediction for what this would be i mean that does sound like an lf though right doesn't it so i guess maybe this could be straight this could straight up just be the lf teaser because we already again had the reveal and stuff for the ginyu force for whatever reason they decided to do the reveal and stuff for that so I guess it's possible that they do have, uh, they are planning on doing, um, not, they, they, oh, sorry, they aren't planning on doing a reveal and stuff for this character, and it just ends up being, uh, you know, a Twitter reveal or whatever, which would be kind of weird, but, um, a tag Goku and Piccolo, that is, uh, a, a preparation mode spirit bomb for Goku, and Piccolo has to defend him, I think that does make the most sense here, um, for me. Uh, they, they, they chose the color of these arrows to be purple on purpose, I think, to correlate with the tag switch icon that we actually have in the game there. I mean, the sh even the shade of purple is pretty on point with what we have. So that in combination with the spirit bomb, right? We have the, 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 the contrasting like images of the spirit bomb with the sun and the moon. It definitely does look very similar to like when Frieza notices the spirit bomb in the, in the, as a reflection in the water, and then he looks up and sees it in the sky. Right. Yeah. So that's why that, that, that's why I think that that makes the most sense here. Again, it could be some abstract thing where it's like, you know, the sun and the moon represent Goku and Vegeta. And then the arrow represents the fact that he's going to revive into Goku, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't think that's the case. Uh, but if I had to guess, this is probably looking like some kind of Piccolo and Goku uh, tag spirit bomb character, whether or not it's going to be the one percent character or the, or the LF. I think if it ends up being a preparation mode you know, uh, character here, tag character. It probably just going to be the LF, but we'll see. So that's it. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think. We should be having this banner come out this coming week on the 30th. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one.